Hi all, let us try to attempt this A-level questions which is related to deformation of solid. A wire of length 0.5 meter is fixed horizontally between two supports separated by 0.5 meter. When a mass of 8.0 kilogram hangs from the middle of the wire, the midpoint sucks by 1 cm. The diameter of the wire is 2.8 millimeter. Calculate the Young's modulus of the wire given g equals 9.81 meter per second square and the final answer is 1.99 times 10 to the power of 11 newton per meter square. A wire of length 0.5 meter is fixed horizontally between two supports separated by 0.5 meter. When a mass of 8 kilogram hangs from the middle of the wire, the midpoint sucks by 1 centimeter which is drop for 1 cm height which gives you the angle with the same amount both sides and same thing goes to the tension of the wire the tension of the wire both side is similar so now we'll get from this free body diagram where 2t, t cos theta plus t cos theta, you will get 2t cos theta equals to weight, which is equals to mg. And the angle here is about opposite divided by the adjacent, 0 0.25 meter divided by 1 times 10 to the power of negative 2 meter, it will give you 87.7 degree. And when we substitute the angle in this formula, it will give you T or tension in the wire is 9.78 times 10 to the power of 2 Newton. So make sure you press the calculator properly to get this answer. If you don't have the calculator, calculate later. Once you get the tension of the wire, now we can calculate the Young's modulus of the wire by using this formula. Young modulus equals to stress divide by the strain. So Young modulus will be in this form y equals to f the force which is the force here equals to the tension in the wire and the length is the original length of the wire which is 0 0.5 meter and the e is the cross-sectional area of the wire, the cross-sectional area of the wire, which is you can use this formula to find the cross-sectional area of the wire, which is A equals to pi R square. The R here is the radius. The questions give you the diameter of the wire. The diameter of the wire is 2.8 millimeter. So 2.8 millimeter you can convert to meter times 10 to the power of negative 3 divided by 2 you will get the radius then the cross sectional area is 6.158 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meter square so we already fulfilled the three important quantities which is force length area force is the tension in the wire which is equals to 9.78 times 10 to the power of 2 newton the length is 0 0.5 meter and the area, cross-sectional area, is 6.158 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meter square. And the last part is the, is the extension of the wire. The extension E of the wire is 2L minus L0. L0 is the original length of the wire, which is 0 0.5 meter. And the length here is the length of the hypotenuse for this triangle. We have two portions this length and this length we have two portions so we have to times 2 2 l minus l naught to get this l we have to use theorem Pythagoras by using theorem Pythagoras you can find this l which is 0 0.2502 meter so you can substitute the 0 0.2502 in this formula to get the extension of the wire which is 4.0 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meter
So we already fulfill all the requirements for these Young's modulus, which already know how to find the force. The force here is equal to tension, 9.78 times 10 to the power of 2 Newton. The length here is the original length of the wire, 0 0.5 meter. The area here is the cross-sectional area, 6.158 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meter square. And the extension of the wire is 4.0 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meter. Simple like a bubble without giving you any trouble. When you substitute all the values accordingly in this Young's modulus formula, you will get the Young modulus of the wire is 1.99 times 10 to the power of 11 Newton per meter square. Piece of cake, you just need a cup of coffee at this moment. Let us try to attempt another question, but now it's about PSPM year 2019-2020. The diameter of a circular shoe heel is 13 mm. If both heels support 70% of the weight of a 54 kg woman, calculate the stress on both heels. So heels support 70% of the weight so force here equals the 70 percent of the weight the weight here which is equals to mg the diameter of a circular shoe heel is 13 millimeter so the cross-sectional area is pi in bracket d over 2 square so the cross-sectional area a is equals to pi r square r is the radius so the question gives you the diameter. So the diameter should divide by 2 to get the radius. So the cross-sectional area is 1.33 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meter square. Everyone knows that the stress is equal to force per unit area. The question is about calculate the stress on both heels. So if we're going to times 2 for the cross-sectional area because it is about both heels. So when you substitute all the values accordingly in this formula and you will get the stress on both heels is 1.397 times 10 to the power of 6 Newton per meter square. Simple like a bubble without giving you any trouble. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks a lot and thank you to the Lord.